Yeah, and now, of course, we're bringing things slightly more up to date. 2019, you made a move to Northampton. After yeah. having such great achievements with Bristol Rovers again, was it tough leaving? Um, yeah, it was, because the kind of the, the way I left wasn't good. I didn't, didn't get on well with the manager at the time, and the, the way I left was, was not ideal. Um, and at the time, I just met my missus, who, who I'm, I'm still with now, so I was kind of settled in Bristol. Um, so, yeah, it was tough, but obviously I, I found myself out the door, and I always kind of said to myself I'd try and try and stay a little bit local again, but I obviously <laughs> ended, up, ended up two hours up the road. Um, the main probably reason it got done was because as soon as the season finished, Northampton and Keith Cole were on the phone saying, like, get up here, we want to get it done. Um, oh, wow. Which for me was massive because I hate going through the summer. Like, you're on holiday, you're constantly on the phone to your agent, trying to have a good time on holiday, and you're constantly worrying about what's going to happen when you get back. So I actually managed to, to get that signed pretty much straight away. So um, I just kind of... They offered me a two-year deal, which uh, obviously at 33 was was massive for me as well. Um, good contract. Spoke to the manager, and obviously they would. They think they made probably 14 or 15 signings that year, so I knew it was going to be a, a fresh start for them and for them to try and kick back on and, and get back into League One. So once it was all done, yeah, I, I enjoyed my summer, and obviously then moved up here. Um, just a few weeks before pre-season. Yeah, talking of kicking on and, and getting back into League One with Northampton, that's exactly what you did do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, promotion season via the playoffs. Yeah. Um, talk us through, you know, the squad you had and the talent you had that season, but also um, <clears throat> how, did you, how did you feel during that playoff process as well? Yeah, no, I think, obviously, like I say, brought in probably close to 15 new players, Um and obviously, I'd be away in the summer, seeing like next signing, next signing. A couple of lads I know well, and a lot of lads that I know who I've played against, and who have good, good winning records from before. A lot of experienced players. Um, to be fair, we had a. It was similar to Chef. To be fair, we had a we had a terrible start. Not terrible, but we we just couldn't click. But when you're bringing in a brand new starting eleven from from the, the season before it, it obviously isn't going to click straight away so it was it was like a, a case of like I say probably towards Christmas again we just we just kicked right on and um, the, the the players he brought in did the exact job that obviously he he wanted them to um, we obviously got to probably February March and we were <laughs> obviously in the playoff zone, but we were actually having a bad time. So I think all, all, all the lockdown stuff kind of came at a good time for us because we were on a bit of a bit of a downward slope at that point. So obviously went off, had lockdown and were just keeping an eye on everything that was going on. And obviously the season was cancelled, which meant we were in the playoffs. And for us, that was perfect because on our day, we could beat anyone. We had a style of play that not many teams could handle. Um, Awful start. We lost 2-0 in the first leg. Um, but then obviously we went to Cheltenham, who'd had a great record at home and we we beat them 3-0 and, and obviously it's, it's time to go to Wembley again. Slightly different circumstances, but obviously we, we went there and more than got the job done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Getting promoted and that, the, the scenes following that, that game I remember watching were great. Great for yeah. Uh, talking about this season now, very different season, disrupted yeah. by the coronavirus pandemic, as we all know. As a player, how, how have you dealt with that, both, you know, mentally keeping yourself, uh, you know, fresh mentally, but also physically? Um, well, at the start, it was it was kind of just leading up to summer, wasn't it? So once, once <clears> we stopped playing in the league, it was, I think we must have had a couple of months, I'd imagine, back, so... It was quite nice for me because I got to go back to Bristol and chill out with the missus and and the weather was good, wasn't it? So it was... Yeah, it was best we weather I've had in a while. <laughs> we were just out in the garden sort of chilling. I, just, I turned into a gardener for about three months. Um, <laughs> just done the odd run here and there. I find it hard, like, training on my own. So 
I probably lost quite a lot of fitness, which, which didn't really matter because I didn't play in any of the games in the playoffs anyway. So <laughs> just, I was just like a fan on the side, kind of cheering the boys on. But yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it. Just spending time with the missus, just obviously seeing my kids when I could with all the restrictions and stuff. Um, and just, just being back in Bristol was fine for me. Um, then obviously we came back up and had a couple of weeks training. Just the lads were fit and, and ready to go. And then we went to, obviously, to Wembley, played that, and then probably had a, a quick month off. And then it was back to the back to the season. And I've not really played many games this year, but I kind of feel like I'm not really missing too much anyway because I, I, I honestly think football's been completely different this year um, yeah. without the fans in. I think teams are playing a lot of false styles of football, I think. It's easy to to sort of get the ball from the back and play it around when there's no fans in there. But is it is it hard to get yourself motivated? Yes, yeah, it's it's been really hard. Yeah, like I say, I've not played too many games, but I've not I wasn't overly disappointed at the time because you're you're literally obviously sat on the bench. Which even when you're when there's a crowd in, it still you know you're going to go on and there's going to be a good atmosphere. And it's it's just been it's been awful to be fair. And yeah, I've spent quite a a lot of the start of the season not not really playing and then just recently I've, I've kind of got my way back in and kind of timing it a little bit well for when the fans are back so <laughs> I just say I just wasn't really going to bother playing until the fans came back so yeah um, yeah it's not the same it's I kind of I feel for the younger players who have just come into the game because they, they really don't know what football's like at the minute because it's no. Without the fans in there, it's it's like pre-season game every every yeah. game at the minute. And, and and you often see, don't you, is that players that are generally coming from an under twenty three background or they're on loan from an academy club, they're shining a little bit more because yeah. no, they are. They're, yeah, they're, 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 play, they're, they're playing in front. It, yeah. yeah, they're used to it, aren't they? They're used to it, and the, the, I've ne- never seen League One like it is at the minute. Like I say, nah. like, defenders dropping in the box, trying to pass it out, and I just think. When the, the the crowds are back and there's eight nine thousand people, are, are you going to be playing like that? And with you, you you know what the fans are like, get it forward, get it forward. Um, I think it'll be different when all the fans come back and and they start. Whenever it'll be, you know, capacity, so it'll change a lot. So, yeah, football's not football at the minute for me. No. It's 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 a, a, at all levels, um, which makes me kind of be grateful that I've had 16, 17 years of playing it whilst the fans are there and whilst it's been proper football. So, um, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty relaxed at the minute and <laughs> and I'll just, you know, I've, I've watched a lot of football this year, obviously from the sides and played my part every now and again and I've been pretty chilled with it all really as long, as, long as, you know, my kids are healthy and, and family's all good. I've kind of just took that philosophy and there's nothing we can do about it, is there, really?